I mean, okay, so no changes, no need to compromise, no need to get any in, get into any alliance. Uh, Nija. One short point. No, Nija, my point was on the national level. What is the yeah. picture you're getting? Is there an anti-Congress mood or wave that seems to be emerging? I think there is obviously an anti-Congress, the negativism towards the Congress, which each state's chief minister of the Congress is going to have to contend with, number one. What has happened in Muzaffar Nagar has also had a ripple effect in mm -hmm. Rajasthan and Sachin will probably throw more light on this with the Jats getting more disaffected with the Congress. They have been with the Congress in the past. If that is true and if the Gujars are also, we are leaving out Ajmer Sachin out of this reckoning, maybe this is not the situation in your constituency. But with the Meenas also getting unhappy, uh, Gujars getting unhappy, there is a whole caste factor. The other thing we have heard is that Narendra Modi's crack team has been helping Vasundra Rajay Sindhya with her election management in Rajasthan for the last many months. So that also has been an additional boost to her. Well, well absolutely. You know, there, are, there, are, there are a couple of points which emerge here and I think we will have to lay the focus on Rahul Gandhi once again. What is the real impact of Rahul Gandhi? Great speeches. What is, what is, what is, the, what is the Great appeal? Speeches. Huh? Great, Great speeches. What is the appeal Great of speeches. Rahul Gandhi? No, you know, you know watch, 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 watch. And when, when I look at, and I now want to look at the sort of individual popularity ratings, chief ministerial candidate, and actually let's look at how the people of Rajasthan are looking at who they would like to be the Prime Minister of India. So let's first get the chief ministerial candidates in, and on that there is a simple point which comes on, that 44% uh, prefer, 44% prefer uh, Vasundra Rajay. So, you know, this infighting which has emerged, has really actually affected Vasundara Raja in a very positive way. Absolutely. The second thing which emerges is despite the infighting in the Congress, there is no alternative in Rajasthan to these two leaders. Right. Now the, but the Congress party has not built an alternative. Let's quickly uh, yeah. go across to you know, who they would like to see as the Prime Minister of India because this is how Rajasthan is going to vote if there are elections tomorrow at the national level. And once again, the story which emerges is this, that there is how Rajasthan is different from Delhi is simply in the, in the sense that dissatisfaction index, mm -hmm. the dissatisfaction index against Manmohan Singh, 8%, is very, very high. Very and we are seeing this everywhere. Sankarshan, I'd like to get you in. In each state that we are going to, the dissatisfaction against Manmohan Singh is phenomenally high. What do you think? Is this going to have a bearing? You know, is this going to have a bearing? Is this going to have a bearing? Single digit number. Is this going to have a bearing? Of course, of course it will have a bearing. Of course it will have a bearing. We know that the emerging mood is hugely anti-incumbent, hugely anti-UPA and Manmohan Singh and Sonia Gandhi and we were talking about Rahul Gandhi just now. Great speeches. I don't know what great speech he has, he has made. He, he is des desperately in need of a good speech writer. Adi Roti, Puri Roti doesn't make for a good speech. I, I, I think he, his most disastrous performances have been on stage. Today he held a so-called strategy meeting all day and what emerged from that strategy meeting all day was correspondents who were waiting to get crumbs out of it were told nothing. Now if you're going to have these, you know, six months, eight months from election, if you're going to have these absolutely media barred, when you are in need of broadcasting yourself, if you are going to have these closed door, opaque strategy meetings, yeah. I'm not sure who that's going to help. I think it's time for the Congress to step out. He should be holding his strategy meetings out in the park rather than in closed air-conditioned rooms. One minute on Rahul's speeches. There's a lot of talk about dreams. I would want his dreams, I mean people's dreams are my dreams, very well. Why is it none of the Congress governments are implementing Rahul's dreams? Why does he have to wait for 2014? If he is able to answer that question. And also I think it's fairly insulting that in Jaipur, that oh, uh, in somewhere near Udaipur, he says I'll give you one, uh, uh, one full roti in the place of half and you'll also get 100 days of working and moved to Dawai and that is my philosophy for economics. I'm sorry, the people of India, rich or poor, all want to improve themselves and want to work as many number of days in a year to improve their standards. Uh, can we ask the minister? This simplistic Let assessment does you see, not you help. See, you, see, you see, Sachin Pilot wears two hats. Uh, so it won't be easy for him to answer this. But Sachin, you know, popularity ratings of 3% in Delhi. 
8% in Rajasthan, I'm talking about your Prime Minister, uh, would make anyone in the Congress, I presume, extremely worried. That how can you go into an election when your Prime Minister has a popularity rating of 3 and 8% in key parts of the country? On a poll aside, I want to an answer somebody on the panel was talking about giving uh, food grains and right to work and right to education as something as, you know, you're lowering the workers of, or, or the population of India. Fair enough, we can be socialist minded, but we are not as desperate as to rent Muslims to come to Mr. Modi's rally, make them wear skull caps and, and to pretend to the television cameras that here is a man who can carry India together. So don't, uh, you know, comment about leaders making speeches and the kinds of stance they take. Let the people of India be judges of what's going to happen. You can criticize a speech, but you cannot dispute, sorry, you can't dispute the fact sorry, that Mr. people of India have more faith in people who are wanting to unite the country. Viewpoint on economics, very welcome. But don't restrict the enterprise of Indian uh, worker to 100 days only and that too on dole. And then to talk about whatever Modi says, to say, oh, he said this, would you allow the same discount for Modi too? You wouldn't. You All pick I'm on every that, one of the words that he says. And meeting, when somebody in a cast from the opposition party picks on the vice president to ca skull cap, candidate of the ruling so party, the you can't take objection to it. Away. I That's expect the only much more than this from Mr. Pilot. I'm sorry. But, no, no, but you, didn't, you didn't comment on the popularity rating that your prime minister enjoys. Aren't you worried? Prime Minister of India has done a great job. Whether he gets 5, 8, 12 percent in your program is not important. I think he has given a stable government for nine years. We've had good progress for eight and a half years. Last six months have been challenging. But overall, he's a man of credibility, of, of a lot of respect, and of impeccable uh, you know, integrity. No, it's not about respect. It's not about respect. It's not, nobody's disrespecting the Prime Minister. It's about, but the, it's, it's about, it's about the votes. It's about, it's the, about the national it's mood, a, it, Sanjay. It's about the mood in the country. And if the mood of the country is anti Manmohan Singh, and if the mood of the country is anti the central government of which you are a minister, then you would be worried as well. I'm sure many other Congress leaders are seeing these numbers here today. Wouldn't they be worried? Oh, Aarti. Absolutely. And the tragedy is, like in Rajasthan, when they should have got rid of Ashok Hela a long time ago and put in somebody new, they don't have anybody to put in because their heir apparent is so reluctant to come forward and take that charge. So, so it, the, therefore, uh, Sachin, the real issue is that you are in a bind. You have to either decide who you want to project as your prime ministerial candidate, whether it's Rahul Gandhi or not. Otherwise, the anti-incumbency against your central government and your prime minister will take you down. Can you afford to take that risk? Well, I don't really agree with your line of thinking. I think 2009, we were 156 MPs. We are up to 206. And don't forget, in 2009, the BJP appointed Mr. Advani as a PM in waiting. It made the Congress increase its tally by 50 seats. And now Mr. Modi is a PM in waiting. Let us wait and see what the people of India have to decide and what the tallies of BJP are. Manmohan Singh didn't have single-digit popularity index in 2009. Can I tell you that? But you've been sporting about it. Sachin Pilot, nice to see you. Manvendra Singh, thank you very much. We're going to move now to uh, the state of Madhya Pradesh. Key <laughs> state, it sends 29 seats. The state of Madhya Pradesh used to send 40. Now it sends 29 seats and Chhattisgarh sends 11 seats. Now, Madhya Pradesh is very, very interesting. Broadly speaking, Madhya Pradesh is interesting because you have the BJP trying to do a hat trick in Madhya Pradesh. It's interesting because the Congress party has finally realized its mistake of not projecting anyone and has in a recent rally almost projected, I would use the operational <laughs> word almost projected, Jyotiraditya Sindhya as the chief ministerial candidate and he'll be joining us in some time. What are the results in Madhya Pradesh? Jai Moore will tell us more. Uh, the vote share between the Congress and the BJP is somewhat narrowing. In the last election it was about 5%, now it's about 4%. That's created a marginal dip for the BJP. It's down from 143 to 130, a loss of 13. The Congress has gained from 71 to 84, a gain of 13. Nevertheless, if you look at the popularity ratings of the two chief ministerial aspirants, there is a gap. What about the vote share? Let's look at the yeah. vote share Absolutely. in Madhya Pradesh the because I, I think the story that we are getting from Madhya Pradesh is actually in the vote share. Yeah. And this is why it's remarkable, ladies and gentlemen, as we wait for that graphic to be projected. Uh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan has not had 10 years as chief minister. He's at about 7 or 8, if I'm not mistaken, because he came in as a replacement chief minister yeah. after Babulal Gore. So he's at about 7 to 8 years. Yeah. However, the BJP has 10 years of anti-incumbency. And this is Shivrat Singh Yadav, uh, Chauhan's real achievement. This man takes the vote share of the BJP up by 2% to 40% as per our projections. And therefore, this 
is a remarkable situation. I don't know how many states there have been and how many chief ministers in this country there have been who in their third election have been able to take up their vote share. Even Narendra Modi lost vote share in the last elections in, in, in Gujarat. But Shivraj Singh Chauhan has gained vote share. So that's 40% getting him a total of 130 seats. That's down 13 seats. But when you're fighting against this kind of anti-incumbency, it's a remarkable performance for, for, for Mr. Chauhan. Uh, Sankarshan can't help but a caustic barb at that. It's not caustic. Because, uh, which emerges out of his love for Mr. Narendra Modi. Absolutely. Yes, go ahead. No, no, I, I'm just saying if these figures are true, the man who's keenly watching is LK Advani. Because yeah. he's, he's the one who's been backing Shivraj Chauhan. Okay. Um, Responses to the result that we have in Madhya Pradesh, which is just very simply BJP is going to get a hat trick. Shivraj Singh Chauhan is returning a fantastic 40% vote which makes him undisputed chief minister for the third time with a clear mandate. Yes, okay, responses now, on I, what this I election will be. There's a lesson in this for the Congress because the fact that they have finally chosen to almost protect now, now, a now. young face, I think is definitely helping them to bump up their vote share and bump up their seat yeah. share. So yeah. if, they, if they thought of doing this in well, other states or at the national Hartos, level, Hartos, maybe what it would do you have think? made a difference. I, I think there will be some shrinkage in the <coughs> gap with Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. He's just been projected, but I don't think it will be enough to overcome that. You, you don't think so? You and there, think there's one second and point, which is a larger point yeah. I do want to make. All through you are seeing, and we haven't observed this, the diminishment of the BSP as BSP, a force outside yeah. the UK. Oh, yeah. And it is having a significant impact on every state election. The BSP won yeah. seven seats in 2008. Yeah. It is, it is, it is uh, tipped to lose this time, but it is not supposed to be a spoiler. I think the way I would read it is that Mayawati needs to be worried about it because Mayawati wanted her national footprint. This was her dream to make the BSP beyond Kanchiram into a party with a national footprint. She's been she, Mayawati has failed in her attempt to have a national footprint. States like Madhya Pradesh remain primarily bipolar states. Now, quick response to Madhya that Pradesh. Manisha. Surprise, surprise. That bipolarism is coming by both in Madhya Pradesh and in Chhattisgarh. Absolutely. The Dalits and the scheduled tribes you know, going towards the BJP. Yeah. And what the, you can I see think, in Madhya no, Pradesh is under, a personal this, connect this of the Chief Minister. The man from Bhopal. The, yeah, yeah no, no, first, I don't just think a minute. Can yeah. I just complete yeah, this? Sure. A personal okay. connect of the Chief Minister with very poor people. And in a sense, the pro-poor agenda that Rahul Gandhi is unveiling towards the end of his tenure, I think even Stephen in Madhya Pradesh you and Chhattisgarh, they've both bettered you, every you bill see, that the centre has to offer. The one now, what do you do to that? in politics is momentum. Momentum. No, agenda this, doesn't have a difference. No, no, Congress agenda is not different from BJP. Into momentum for the BJP. How are you reading it? Since you're Adam, there are two, three things are there. First of all, this uh, whole survey is slightly deceptive. It doesn't tell the story of anti-incumbency factor against MLAs. Yeah. The BJP has a very tough choice of retaining its MLAs or replacing them because 10 years they have also become very resourceful and they have the ability to damage BJP. So, Shivraj Singh has a problem. Do? Change them. Has Shri Puri change or retaining or retaining them. Change them. Shri Puri but Guna, Shri Singh Chauhan's uh, personal uh, images. Uh, as oh no, if, I, if I may just elaborate this point, I think one of the problems. So before we get too hyped up about these yeah, numbers, yeah, yeah. is the individual candidate often makes a very big difference. And as uh, he's very correctly saying, the power equations between the sitting MLA and yeah. somebody coming in, so we need to factor we, this. We, we, These we nuances are very no, 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 We need to see what Jyotir yeah, Aditya yeah, India does. Absolutely. He actually but changes things on the ground. Yeah, Make another side. I think the remarkable no, story about, about Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh is that leadership matters. And BJP has got mm. it right both times. Vasudhana Raja had a lot of flag from her party. She came back and yeah. she has shown that you can win Rajasthan if you are a good but, leader. But, but you know, if you were Jyotiraditya Sindhya, you'd say, I'm going to pack the power punch. Here is my party. It was 38 seats. It became 71 seats. And now it's 84 seats. And I'm going to prove in the first solo opportunity that I have got in my political career not to be an understudy no. to Digvijay Singh and no, Kamal Nath, but to prove that I have it on my own, that I'm going to do something dramatic that time, this time. Can he do something he dramatic? May make a difference. Can he I do think, that? Uh, Sindhya, they left it too late. Too late. They should have brought yeah. him in. As we, we talked about for many, many months why it so? was not done. We don't know. Uh, he, he could make a difference. BJP people were saying if he was brought in, it will make a difference. It, this only is another example of how the Congress is losing its killer instinct. Okay. Uh
Okay, let, let's, let's quickly go across to our panelists, but before that, I think we have uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya uh, you know, uh, was with us, and let's get a quick reaction. Mr. Jyotiraditya Sindhya, firstly, you have been projected as a Prime Ministerial Candidate, uh, Chief Ministerial <laughs> Candidate. Uh, the Congress projected to get 84 seats, which seems like an uphill task. Do you think you can get there? Well, Arnab, first of all, let me uh, make it very clear that I am a... Uh, ordinary worker of the Congress Party. Uh, I have been uh, given this responsibility. Uh, we are all intending to work together uh, every step of the way. The Congress Party at the helm, uh, at the top of the leadership is united uh, and is going to work together to uh, remove this corrupt, inefficient BJP government in Madhya Pradesh. I certainly do believe uh, that uh, uh, polls are not the, the last litmus test of what the final results are. And I'd like to take you back to 2009 uh, when you, all the polls, including yours, said something completely different to what the reality turned out. However, also let me emphasize that our mission uh, in the Congress Party in Madhya Pradesh is to ensure that we bring about a people-centric government uh, a government that uh, revolves around uplifting uh, the weaker sections in Madhya Pradesh, removing this inefficient and corrupt BJP government. And we do believe that when we're all working together, uh, we will be able to form the next uh, government in Madhya Pradesh with the aim of providing efficient governance and not necessarily with the aim of just forming a government per se in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, Mr. Jyotra Ditya Sindhya, in the CM ratings, you're far ahead of the others, but uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan uh, is miles ahead of you. Your party has made you uh, the face of the campaign of the Too Congress late. Party in Madhya Pradesh, but do you think it's a little late in the day that they've left this for? Uh, would the Congress have been better served if they had projected you earlier? See, the problem... See, it's, it's, a que it's, a, it's the issue is, Arnab, that... Uh, and I want to make this again very clear. It's not about the position of the, ch of the Chief Minister's post. As I mentioned to you earlier, we are all working unitedly. The Congress Party, in its policy, the, has decided not to project a face, and I think I completely agree with that policy. We are working unitedly, and we will form the government. Who becomes the Chief Minister at that point of time, if the government is formed by the Congress, is something that a question that will have to be broached at that point of time. Today we are all working unitedly to make sure that a Congress government comes into the, into the state and I assure you that all your poll ratings are undermining the uh, resentment in the public, the desire in the public to uh, change this government and even change Shivra Singh Chauhan for all his uh, talk and bluster. Actually the efficacy of his schemes and the governance that he has been able to provide is at best very, very shoddy across the board, whether you look at any parameter from health to education to corruption to inefficiency, across the board. As we speak, the Jal Satyagrahis in uh, Khandwa district and Khargon district are still carrying on their, their uh, uh, issue with regard to them being displaced. As we are speaking, uh, people are getting uh, raped and murdered in Madhya Pradesh. I think this calls for a, certainly for a change of government and you will see that more prolifically as the days uh, uh, wear on over the next uh, two to three weeks. Mr. Sinha, we'll come, we'll come to that, but we must, we must give the BJP some credit where it is due. And let's open up to other panelists. I want to go back to the panelists. Chandan Mitra joining us right now, for, who's a Rajya Sabha member of parliament of the BJP. We have Mukesh Nayak, former minister and spokesperson of the Madhya Pradesh Congress. Yashodhara Rajya Sindhya is joining us on a link from Gwalior. Chandan Mitra, to you first, the BJP projections that we've shown so far. And let's go to the big picture, not just Madhya Pradesh. You have a remarkable victory in Madhya Pradesh that is there ahead of you. Uh, you are sweeping Rajasthan quite convincingly. And uh, it's Delhi where you, the Aam Aadmi Party has snatched victory away from you. So your reactions on the, on the broad trends you've seen on the Times Now poll so far before we move on. Chandan Mitra. Well, you see, I, I sh share uh, my friend Jyotirana uh, Sindhyaji's view that polls and the actual results, there's often a disconnect. But in my mind, there's absolutely no doubt that of the three states that you've shown so far, uh, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, we are more than sure of winning. 
we may even be increasing our tally when the final tally is out and in Delhi we are very confident of being able to ride to power after a long stint of Sheila Dixit. Uh, she has been effective in holding on to her power for a long time but this time there is a very strong anti-incumbency in the capital um, against the Congress party for multi uh, of reasons and Shivrajji and has given such excellent delivery. So I was pained when Jyotiraja Sindhya said that you know the inefficient and corrupt BJP government. Now it has been a, I would say is a model government. You, I am I am a um, member of parliament from Madhya Pradesh. So surely I have some knowledge of what's going on on the ground, and I must say that um, um, you know the situation on the ground, the implementation of the schemes are far far superior than anything the center has uh, decreed. Which is why some of the BJP ruled states were opposed to some of the central government impositions that are being planned um, uh, through the various new bills. So, so the question then to Mukesh Nayak, Chandan Mitra, just to get everyone in, is that after three elections, if you only increase by 4% and the BJP also increases by 2%, that means, you know, the, the difference in the, in, in the increase between both your parties is, is just 2%. Mukesh Nayak, you know, why is your party in floundering? Why is the Congress party floundering and giving away a great opportunity in Madhya Pradesh in your view? Who is responsible for it? Look, first of all, I want to say that Madhya Pradesh is different from the other countries. The country is the biggest in the country. And in the past few years, there are 14 seats that we have to vote in 500 seats. There are 5 seats that we have to vote in 5,000 seats. There are 10 seats that we have to vote in 2,000 seats. और 16 सीट ऐसी हैं जो 3000 के अंतर से हमारे हैं और 10 सीट ऐसी हैं जो हम 5000 के अंतर से हारे हैं यानी एक लाख पचहत्तर हजार वोट अगर इधर से उधर हो जाते हैं तो बासठ सीटों पर इसका अंतर पड़ेगा दूसरी बात मैं कहना चाहता हूं कि यह बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है कि आपका सर्वे कितने लोगों से पूछकर बनाया गया है अगर आप दस पाँच लोगों से पूछ कर सर्वे बनाते हैं तो सात करोड़ लोगों की कलेक्टिव कॉन्शियसनेस को यह सर्वे रिप्रेजेंट करने वाला नहीं होगा दूसरी बात मैं ये कहना चाहता हूं कि मध्य प्रदेश में जो एंटी इनकम्बेंसी फैक्टर है जिस तरह से सत्ता और शासन का दुरुपयोग हुआ है अपनी कोई योजना सामाजिक और आर्थिक विकास की राज्य सरकार ने नहीं बनाई जो केंद्र सरकार की योजना है उनको नाम बदलकर इन्होंने चलाया तो और कानून व्यवस्था की जो स्थिति मध्य प्रदेश में रही ये ऐसे मुद्दे हैं मध्य प्रदेश की राजनीति में जिसने एंटी इनकम्बेंसी फैक्टर को मल्टीप्लाई किया है और इस सर्वे को मैं बहुत विश्वसनीय नहीं मानता एक एक मिनट रशीद के द्वारा आपसे कुछ पूछना चाहते हैं मुकेश जी ये बताइए कि कांग्रेस क्या कांग्रेस के लीडर ही कांग्रेस के सबसे बड़े दुश्मन है क्योंकि जिस तरीके से वहां अभी दिग्विजय सिंह कांग्रेस थी अब उसको ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया कांग्रेस बनाई जा रही है तो आपस के जो झगड़े हैं उससे कांग्रेस को सबसे ज्यादा नुकसान नहीं होता बीजेपी में 20 बीजेपी बन गई हैं प्रभात झा ने पूरी पार्टी की मीटिंग में यह कहा कि शिवराज चौहान को समझना बहुत मुश्किल है उमा भारती के साथ बीजेपी ने क्या व्यवहार किया आप जानते हैं कांग्रेस के बाद पीसीसी का दरवाजा बंद कर दिया जाता है देखिए उस बात के को बिल्कुल गलत प्रोजेक्ट किया जा रहा है मैं उस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में था जी 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 मैं ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि पूरी कांग्रेस पार्टी मध्य प्रदेश में एक जोट है नो मिस यशोधरा जी सिंधिया डू यू थिंक दैट ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया उस बिकम द कांग्रेस पार्टी चीफ कैंपेन मैनेजर दिस टाइम यू नो डू यू थिंक दैट he will be able to make a difference and i know this is a sindhya versus sindhya question but it must be asked do you think jyotiraditya will be able to trump you in the elections arunav can i can feel your smile as you ask me that question i am on skype so i can't see any of you but i can feel your smile as you ask me that question regarding my nephew and i don't want to get into tutu meme but it is a straight fact that what my cm has done in madhya pradesh is something phenomenal he has now transcended even my party what he has done in pradesh is bring the state to double digit growth figures economy wise he has done the same in agriculture these are not 
issues that can be put away because the president of india has samarod him and told him that we are applaud you for what you have done in madhya pradesh and the president of india is not somebody that you cannot take cognizance of we have to also understand that the central government does play a small role albeit a small role but a role if finally in the voters issues the government has been so pathetic has been so corrupt that let the congress party i was just wondering if indeed mr chohan would work has made him transcend the party do you think it would have been better to opposite him as the prime ministerial candidate Because I, I Mr. don't know Adbani why somebody else so, is speaking. I think you have given me a chance to speak. I don't know who else is speaking because this is like being in a blind man's alley. Uh, you can't see anybody. But if you are asking me to speak, I'd like to take another minute of your time and say that let not the Congress Party or the leaders of the Congress Party tell us what our government is like at Madhya Pradesh level. We have transcended all kinds of parameters. and the president of india has acknowledged those parameters so when you go to gaon gaon level and you see what is happening i do believe that that difference is not going to be a 2% difference but it is going to be more a 4% difference or even percent difference yes there may be a difference when you are putting the mla seats together and you are deciding on which mla is going to stand from which area but right now I, I, it's I'm a shivraj i'm not no, you got me wrong 